Welcome, Sagittarius, to your oracle reading. And for you this week, I pulled number 40, Dolphin, as your medicine card. 40 breaks down to 4, which is the number for liability. So this has to do with the core of who you are, the foundation of your being. Your perception of yourself may change this week. And Dolphin medicine is mana. What that really means is that you are vibrating at a higher frequency this week. You're going to be attracting all sorts of things to you. There are going to be people who are going to be attracted to you, situations that are going to be attracted to you. You are emitting that beautiful charisma that Sagittarians just naturally have. So this is a great week of conversation, of <clears throat> being involved with others, and really tuning into that higher energy, that life force energy within you, and tapping into that to really use it towards your greatest and highest benefit. Now, for your mineral companion, I pulled this beautiful piece of unakite, and this is a heart chakra stone of mothering. So this is a week to mother yourself. What that means is that you need to meet your own needs, whether that's buying roses for yourself to make your home more beautiful, or buying a chocolate bar when you go out to the grocery store as a form of nurturing yourself when normally you wouldn't. Little things this week to take care of yourself, to meet your own needs, are going to really add up and mean a lot to you. So for your advice card, I pulled number 61, water. 61 breaks down to seven, which is the number for spiritual illumination, according to Carl Jung. So this is, don't be surprised if you have a paradigm shift or an epiphany. This is a week of breakthrough for you. This is a week where things are going to change. You're going to have a big realization. And water in reverse represents not only emotions, but things are going to get a little messy. Things are going to get a little wild and crazy, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. So this is a card of pure potential. Water is one of the nutrients that give rise to life on this planet. It's one of the most important elements when it comes to sustaining life. And so, again, we have this life force energy, this vitality here. You are very high when it comes to frequency. And so this is going to be a week where you're going to definitely feel a lot of emotions. You're going to be very in tune. <coughs> you're going to be very focused on the subconscious, which is also symbolized by water. So pay attention to little things that indicate where your subconscious is at. If you haven't worked with your subconscious, this could be stuff that's repressed that needs to be worked with. But overall, I see a week of healing and a week of positivity. Now, for your clarifying card, I pulled number 50, Arvel the Parrot. 50 breaks down to five, which is the number for change. So we have here that energy that things are going to change, that there's a huge shift in your reality that's going to occur this week. And Arvel the Parrot reversed means that there's self-doubt. There's um, blocked communication and confusion. So this is a week to try to sort through things, to know that things are not going to be quite right. There's going to be miscommunication. Know that there's going to be misunderstandings, but rise through them, rise above them. You have so much other positive energy going here that it seems that even with this problem with communication, perhaps you're being misunderstood. Despite that, your higher frequency is going to attract to you the things that you need. So again, mother yourself this week, meet your own needs. Don't look to others to do that. Focus on this positive frequency and this higher vibration that is in your life, and you will be just fine. So hope that I hope that you enjoyed this reading as much as I did creating it for you. I will be, please hit the like button and subscribe to receive next week's video. Also, check out your moon and rising sign videos to gain even more perspective in the coming week. Bye for now.